I wrote a whole damn book. I kicked ass. I kicked ass. How are you? Hope you're well. So I'm doing something different and um, I want to document my author journey because it's so new. It's so different. You know, I know broadcasting, I know TV, I know sport, I know public speaking. Like that's my wheelhouse. This is new. So I thought I'd just turn on the camera every week, chat about what's going on, my hopes, any setbacks, my goals, my wins. My best friend really gave me this idea, Mary. I used to tend to dim my light and maybe it doesn't seem like that on social media, but what I mean is, you know, things that I've achieved, I'm like, oh, no big deal. Oh, that's not a big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Like I just really keep it small and I wait for the next big thing to actually prove that I'm really good or, you know, something wasn't a fluke. Do you know what I mean? I'm not doing that anymore. Y'all, I wrote a book. I wrote a whole damn book. Your girl is an author. Your girl is an author. Your girl is an author. The first thing I want to talk about in this is um, the truth about how I'm feeling. So the book was supposed to come out last April. It didn't. It was a great decision by my publisher. Um, they really wanted the book to be well received. They believe in it so much that they're like, this is not the climate that we want my mother's daughter to enter into. You can't put a genie back in the bottle, so let's just do it right. And I respect them for it. It was the best decision. Now, a whole year? COVID, you suck, dude. A whole year was not ready. And the truth of the matter is, I'm struggling a little bit with getting hype again. Like I know it's coming, it's 2021. This is January, whatever, whatever. It's gonna happen. But that that anticipation, that buzz, the, the joy, right, that I had going into it last year is not the same. And I completely put the memoir out of my mind. I wanted to start feeling real. It still doesn't feel real. It still doesn't feel like it's, um, it's happening, but I know that it is. Because here's the thing, I'll write more books, but your first one, your first one, you never get that feeling back. I want to document this one for myself so I don't dim my light. I want to document it for my daughter, Nova, but I also want to document it for anyone who has like big dreams, big ideas, big goals. And sometimes you wait for things to be perfect. And if you keep waiting for it to be perfect, you'll never start. COVID has taught me in 2020, don't wait, use up all your stuff, like live life right now. This week, there's two things quickly that I want to talk about. The title of the book, two, um, I think maybe what you think it's about and what it's really about. At first glance, I think the assumption is, and rightfully so, that this is a book all about sport. The highs, the lows, how to be successful, how to get over failure, all those things. And sure, sure it is. But dare I say that it's, it's, it's more than that. It's about the messy and the complicated and the emotional things that happen in families and how those decisions and those experiences not only shape the person who lives them, but the people who they go on to, to raise. The things that our mothers and our fathers do long before we're born impact who we are and who we can become. I was an athlete, world class for 10 years, um, interviewed by hundreds of people, hundreds of times, and I've never told this story. I never told this story because one, I didn't know all of it. There are things about my early life and my life before I got here that I didn't know. How I got here, my origin story. I think a lot of you might, may or may not know that. Like, did your parents love each other? What happened? How did I come to be? All those existential questions that we asked our, ask ourselves, I didn't have the answers for that. So this is about my childhood. It's about um, it being tumultuous and rocky. It's about being a child witness of domestic abuse. It's about not having any place to live. And yes, it's my sport story too. Horrible, but here is another story. And this woman has a lot of quality. The presa, Linda Ferga, on the calle one has been bronze. I break some rules in my memoir, right? Because I'm putting you in moments and in scenes years before I was ever born, decades before I was ever born. And a lot of people might wonder, well, how would you possibly know these things? 
I kicked tail on this. I kicked ass. I went to the University of uh, Chicago's Gleacher School and I you know, have a diploma in creative writing. I took that program for two years. I workshopped and mined a lot of these stories. I'm also a trained reporter, so that helped. I'm here just to I remember going to the archives in St. Lucia to find out things, sitting for days and hours at the Toronto Public Library, interviewing people from our past um, who knew us and who knew my family and who knew me. I interviewed so many people to get this story right. And if I didn't know something, I let you know I didn't know it. I'm gonna let you as the reader fill in that gap for me or make your own assumptions about them. But I was never tempted to make things up if I didn't know. If I didn't know, I just didn't know. But here's the thing, if I didn't show you a lot of the things that happened before I got here, if I didn't show you the foundation of who I am as an Olympian and a world champion and a daughter and a mother and all those things, this story for me wouldn't have worked the same. You needed to see that foundation. You need to see the, the grittiness and the messiness of it to really understand me. But I'm like, God, a whole year has passed. What is it gonna do? Can it do what it was supposed to do? Has COVID rerouted it? No, I'm not claiming that for myself. I've worked too damn hard on this thing for it not to pop and not to do what I want it to do. But here's the thing, the success for me is bringing it to life. And whether one person reads it um, and that's all, <laughs> Hopefully y'all read it and more than one person. This is enough, right? I'm telling myself this is the, this is the success. Anything that happens happens from here on out is the bonus. Okay, that's the bonus.